All right, let's do this. Let's whiz us up some orbs. You know, I never actually watched the intro to this. In ancient times, the kingdoms of Gerudo was cur kingdom of Gerudo was cursed by demons. The king and all his subjects vanished mysteriously. Amongst them were the four sacred children, guardians of balance. Gerudo's last hope rested in the courage of a skilled swordsman named Owain, who embarked on a quest to vanquish evil. However, he never came back, and Gerudo fell deeper into despair. Yeah, I'll I'll call you in a minute, Morse. Let me do the uh, the intro. Then from a distant land came Cyrus, a wizard versed in both black and white magic and a master of a secret magic art called Wizorb. Please, Master Cyrus. Long Staff, Magnet, Slow Orb, Extra Life, Strong Orb, Multi Orb. We've seen all of those except the Multi Orb, I think. Oh, that explains what the curses do. Alright, let me uh, type my secret passphrase into the chat room. Uh, I've got the heart of a lion and the wings of a bat. That's so I can sync up the chat room to the video when I upload it to YouTube. Welcome to the chat room, three Jack Burton, CPC Gamer, Kermudian, and Sayachan. And welcome to the stream, Moore's Draconis. Calling. What's up, guys? Hey. What's going down? Uh, you know. Same shit as always. Do you have headphones on? I can hear the echo of my voice in the background on your side. Uh, I just muted the video, so it shouldn't be a problem anymore. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, even though Moores can't... He's like 30 seconds behind because he's just watching the stream. He can't spectate. He is going to, uh provide his trademark brand of color commentary. Yay! So, let's see, where was I? I just beat uh, the Rotten Mines, and the next place I opened up was the Cursed Castle. I should probably go back to town and... Do I have any gold at this point? I forget. Uh, welcome to the chat room, just drop. He says, what's up? Yeah, I, I can read the chat room when I'm not actually hit hitting balls. Oh, okay. So I saw that you actually in the orbs. What? I said whiz in the orbs. Yeah, whiz in the old orbs. And what were you gonna say? Oh, I saw that you uh, you actually got this game. Have you played it at all? Yeah, I pretty much got to the point where you are now. Oh, really? Yeah. I figure I'm about halfway into it because I have two of the four pieces of the amulet. Yeah, I just got the second piece myself. So, uh, a brief update to Tuesday's stream, and if you haven't seen it, you should go on YouTube and watch it because not only can you watch the stream, you can uh, you can see the chat room as well, thanks to Exergia, who is yeah, that chat is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, brief update: I did end up putting up the sign on my door because. Basically, I just didn't want to deal with, like, the aftermath of if there is something wrong. And, I mean, like I said, I don't have any problems with this place, so I'd rather not stir up trouble. Do you find out whether or not upgrading stuff stacks? Uh, actually, what I did want to see is if it's actually possible to get the, uh, the barricade again. I think I have to talk to one of these guys. And build a rampart. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, it only costs 150 gold? Hex, yeah. It costs 999 gold the first time. Welcome to the crowd, uh, the chat, Crowley9. So, how was work today? Eh, same old down in the shred room, done my shit all day. Crap. I, I wasn't there because I felt like shit this morning. Yeah, I noticed you weren't there today. I called yeah, in. Well, I was, I was feeling like shit. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I don't know. They have no enemies or anything on this one. That's unusual. So how far behind are you in the actual video? Like, what, what am I doing right now from your perspective? Uh... 
you just now shot your ball the first time. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're you're about I'd say fifteen or twenty seconds behind. Yeah. Oh shit. <clears throat> really cool that I can get the rampart for only 150 now. I thought I, Yeah. I thought it, Oops. Oh, I got a curse that makes it so my ball doesn't do anything. That sucks. Wonder how I get rid of that. I guess I just gotta wait for it to wear off. Or maybe I have to hit it with a fireball. Oh no, it wore off. Hey, extra life. Neat. So, uh, I appreciate everyone who's been following me on Twitch, by the way. I've, uh, I've only done this a few times on Twitch. I used to use Ustream, but this is clearly the, uh, the better solution. Welcome to the chat room, Merk... Mer oh, God. What is, what is up with you people? Merk Werdich. Welcome. Yeah, that's Merk Werdich. Yeah. That's like Welsh or something, I think. Uh, yeah. And welcome to the chat room, Friendly Psychopath. Glad you could make it. Yeah, every time I do a stream, it seems like I get uh, new people subscribing or new people coming into the chat room. Actually, that reminds me. I should probably... Because uh, I haven't been setting the actual game that I'm playing on the, uh, the Twitch.tv stream. Yeah. And I should probably do that because that's a way to get people in who might other not otherwise know about the stream. That's definitely a good idea. Because they can be looking at the streams going on and be like, hey, what are people playing? And they're like, oh, Wizard Orb. That's a game I've been meaning to check out. So, playing Wiz Orb. There we go. CPC Gamer wants you to pimp out his uh, quality channel. Yes, indeed. Go to youtube.com slash CPC Gamer, I think. I assume that's the correct one. Uh, you can hear a man talk with a British accent while he plays games that we Americans have never heard of. Because they just came out on, like, the ZX Spectrum and the, uh... the something, something mini computer. Shit, <laughs> shit that we never heard of. Interesting. Alright. Ooh, we have, like, ghosts that kinda disappear and reappear. That's cool. And I just got a curse that significantly speeds up the, the speed of the ball. Kind of sucks. And I lost my rampart already. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Just Drop says child porn central games are rare to come by. I oh. guess that's what CPC stands for. I. I don't want to spread any slanderous rumors about my buddy CPC Gamer. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure a CPC is a kind of computer. It stands for the uh, the complete personal computer. That seems plausible. It's one of those Europe-only computers that can only dis it can only display images in PAL. At 50 megahertz. So is that like a really old console, or? Yeah, he's all about the old, like mid 80s, oh, early to mid 80s, like, like he's really into the. Uh... Oh god, the Commodore 64, I think, or one of those Commodores. Okay. In fact, CPC might stand for Commodore Personal Computer. I don't know. That is a strange. Uh, let's see. Just Drop says, is that like the Master Drive? Um, Crawley9 says it's a computer, not a console, I think. And CPC Gamer says, Color Personal Computer is what that stands for. Even though the original release of the console was green and another darker green. <laughs> well, I mean, that's two colors. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, that's color. I mean, all you need is one color to claim that your computer is in color. Yeah. I wonder how many colors a Coco had. Uh, you know, I don't remember. Not very many. 
Yeah, it was like four colors or something. Yeah, something like that. At least the first one was. It was definitely before EGA, that's that's what I remember being a really big deal. Cause that shit was like... Aw, uh, I didn't open up the door. 20 callers or something. Welcome to the chat room, Coach, Coach Jammer and Private Steve. Glad you can make it. I guess I could probably keep track of that shit too if you want. No, it's my job to welcome people to the, to the chat room. Oh, okay. That's, that's what a good host does. Alright, that's cool. So I started watching the uh, Giant Bomb's Endurance Run of Persona 4 recently. Oh really? Yeah, I already watched the uh, the Chrono Trigger and the Deadly Premonition ones. Holy fuck, that thing cost 10,000 gold. Uh, I think I'll check out the multi-ball. It's one thing I can afford that I haven't seen yet. Whoa, I wonder what the fuck that does. I don't know. Better be something amazing. Multi-ball's pretty cool. Yeah. I've, I've gotten that. Oh, really? So you're, yeah. you're a little bit past where I was. I think. Yeah. No, I, I I got it. Not I was I didn't do this. I got it in one of the things in the previous level. Oh, really? Well, yeah. maybe, maybe I just forgot. Anyway, uh, I've watched the uh, the Chrono Trigger and the, uh, and the Deadly Premonition ones because I like both of those games, but I didn't really watch the Persona one because it's not a series I'm really interested in. Right. But I thought, eh, what the hell, I'll check it out. And that game's fucking weird. That's what I've heard. I've heard that game is really weird. But I mean, like, at the same time, it's like, it's really goofy. Like, I always thought the Persona series was supposed to be really, like, dark and, like, demonic and stuff. But it is, it is a really goofy game. Isn't it supposed to be in the same universe as the Shin Megami Tensu games or whatever? Yeah, I think it's a spin-off of Shin Megami Tensei. Uh -huh. All the Persona games are. But uh, I'm about... There's 155 videos, and I'm on video 18. Oh yeah? So uh, I have a pretty good ways to go, but... Uh, so far, it's been pretty entertaining. Uh, let's see. And another door, uh, another door that I couldn't get into. CPC Gamer says, One of the ultimate summons in the Persona series is a giant penis demon in a chariot. Yeah, judging by Impressive. what I've seen... Oh, I got an achievement in one gulp. Hmm. Huh, yeah. interesting. Uh, I prove Crowley it. says, I prove any game where you kill Hitler. Kill Hitler. Is that something the Persona series is famous for? Well, uh, I, still, I still have my multi-ball. Yeah, as long as you don't die, you get it back in the next thing. So as long as you don't lose all of your balls. Right. You, you get the... Uh, you get it back. That's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Of course, this time it really did not last a particularly long time. <laughs> well, you kind of fucked yourself by shooting it and, you well, know, where you shot it. <laughs> well, I mean, the, lo the layout of this level made it really difficult to, uh, to not fuck yourself with a multi-ball. That's true. But yeah, on, uh, on the YouTube page... I had a chance that Hitler's in Persona 2. Oh. Well, that's clearly the, uh, the money one, then. Apparently. <laughs> it was a PS1 game. The first two were for PS1, I believe. Were they? That's what I was wondering. I couldn't remember if it was PS, if the PS2 was for Persona 2 or if that was Persona 3. Yeah, three and four were on the PS2. If I remember correctly, Persona 1 and 2 are like super rare. Wow. But I think I think you can get them on uh, on PSN these days though. Uh, CPC gamer says he's playing through. The Persona 3 at the moment, not LPing it because it's way too long and grindy. At least, also, my last round of costuming was Kanji from P4. Oh, are you a uh, are you a cosplayer, CPC gamer? That's pretty cool. And Crowley says, I've heard that it turns out that Hitler is the that he's the idea of Hitler made flesh or something like that. I assume he means from Persona 2. Oh, okay. Oh, lost your multi ball. Yeah, dude, that was like 10 years ago. I know. I'm What's sorry. your, uh. Fucking lag. 
It would be kind of cool if a game like this had multiplayer, though. I mean, I can... hey, the uh, CPC gamer says that yes, he does do cosplay. It's not cool. It is geekerific. Don't you patronize me? But yeah, when I go to cons, I dress up. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I mean, we have uh, we have our tabletop gaming convention around here at Charcon, and although we've never done any costuming, you know, we know people who have, and, and so yeah, some really of those costumes are pretty thing. badass. Yeah, man, and people put a lot of time in that shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to make fun of anyone's hobby where they actually, actually like, uh, accomplish something. You know, unlike me, I sit here and I play video games and I talk to the internet. <laughs> it doesn't take any any work there. Nothing like hot chicks and skimpy outfits. Yeah, that's I the. Uh, completely agree in that. Yeah, I mean, it depends. It depends on the convention, though, because at some of them, hot chicks are kind of at a uh, at a premium. <laughs> a premium. <laughs> uh, Cost says he doesn't get it. To be honest, uh, the costume thing. You know, truthfully, I didn't at first, but hey, you know, it's all good. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of hobbies I don't get. Doesn't mean they're bad. Right. I don't think I would ever see myself dressing up, but hey, if people want to do that, that that's awesome. Go for it. Yeah, the only way I would dress up... See, the thing that I don't really get is dressing up as, like, an existing character. Like a character yeah. from an anime or a video game or something. Yeah, that does seem kind of crazy. I mean, if I ever did it, I would. I, it, it would basically just be like a really good Halloween costume, like, uh, like what our relatives Doug and Ann do. Right. Yeah. Just uh, you know, so, something original. Yeah, you know, just go with the theme and do something crazy. But I mean, at the same time, there is a lot of skill in like really faithfully recreating a uh, uh, an outfit from a video game or a movie or an anime or something. Yeah, like Sam and Kate did. I don't know, were, were theirs... Let me well, shoot. Sam was, uh... God, who did he dress up as? I can't remember. It, it was some superhero. Uh, I don't right. remember. And, and she, Kate, she's a, she dressed up as a superhero as well. Yeah, but she was like a weird alternate universe, like, steampunk version of the superhero. Well, yeah. Was that, like, canon, or was it something she came up with? I'm pretty sure it's canon. Really? So, so yeah. they, they have, like... Like how they have Marvel zombies. Do they have Marvel steampunk people as well? I guess. Hell, I don't know. I don't keep track of that shit. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised. The thing about superhero comics is that they've all been going on for a billion years. Right, and, yeah. And it's pretty much, you know, they pretty much cycle through every good idea at this point. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and then they have to come up with something for an excuse to sell more comic books. Yeah. That's why I don't really care for superhero comic books. Yeah. Okay, uh... Let's see. Oh, welcome to the chat, Chrono One. Uh, talking about weird hobbies, heard, heard about train spotting. I've heard about the movie train spotting. I didn't know people actually still did that. Yeah, you mean, like, doing heroin? That's a hobby I've heard a lot about. <laughs> uh, CPC says, uh, oh shit, I gotta scroll back up here. Uh, or Crawley actually says, I don't get the most sports. Yeah, you and Matt will both, uh, ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, not. Um, Just Drop says, Coll collecting people's skin doesn't make sense to me, but to each their own. Hey, you know, takes all kinds. So I'm playing Lone Survivor on my Steam Friends list. list. Yeah, I've heard, oh, I've heard good things about that game. Uh, do, 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 the first time I went to a convention, I thought, I won't dress up, it's lame. Uh, this is a CPC gamer, by the way. And I was miserable for the whole con. Then the next time I went, I jumped right in and had the time of my life. That's what I've heard people say. What do they do at these cons? Like watch cartoons or together? Yeah, you know, it depends on the on the con. Yeah, I mean, we went to that anime convention that one time, and that's basically all we did. That's basically what we did. And it was cool as shit. I wish they'd bring it back to Charleston. Yeah, they moved it to Huntington after that. Actually, I think it was in Charleston for the second year, but we didn't go. 
Yeah, and then after that, they moved it to Huntington. I mean, not that Huntington is like, you know, that way, well, out, way out of our way or anything, it's just... It's just a pain. Train spotting is actually like sitting at the train station, writing down the train numbers that pass by. Wow. Man, doing That's heroin a sounds way more fun. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Why would they name such a cool hobby after something so boring? Actually, from what I understand, the reason Train Spotty... I've never actually seen the movie, so I might be talking out of my ass. But the reason they call it Train Spotty is because, like, looking for the right vein on your arm, the veins look like like a map of train tracks or something. Yeah, that's, that's what I understand. The movie was about drug addicts, so I guess only druggies can do it. Well, I mean, if you're going to be sitting around watching trains and writing down numbers, the best way to do it will probably be on drugs. Yeah. By the way, drugs are bad, and I don't endorse that. But I don't endorse sitting around and writing down writing down train numbers either. <laughs> All right, let's see what the crown does. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell you. It just says you don't have enough money for it. If you do have enough money to buy it, it, uh, it tells you what it does, but if you can't afford it... No, I do not want the magnet, thank you very much. I've heard Dragon Con is really good, CPC Gamer said that that's mainly what he goes to. And that's what, uh... That's what Kate and Sam go to all the time. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the chat room, Exergia. The dude who made the, uh, the chat room script is here. Yeah. Bow down. Mm. Yeah, that is way cooler than anyone else in the chat room. <laughs> if I were to name a favorite, it would definitely be him. I'm just kidding, I, I love all of you. I love all of you equally. Oh man, have you... You haven't been watching the new South Parks, have you? No. Uh, oh my god, you have to... Oh, the last episode, oh my god, it was so funny. Really? Uh, that's, isn't that the last episode of this half of the season or whatever? Yeah, probably. See, the first and the last episodes are always the best ones. Yeah. It was really funny. I need to, uh... I need to get caught up. Oh, there was something about Wizard that I noticed that I wasn't sure if you noticed or not. Because you usually end up having full magic. But if you, uh... If you do, like, where it's bouncing around and it doesn't hit any block that can be destroyed for a while, it'll, it'll like, flash for a second. Yeah, and it lets you regain a little bit of, uh... A little yeah. bit of magic. Yeah. Damn it! I should have used my fairy magic. Oh, well... So have you gotten the Guild Wars 2 client downloaded yet? Yep. Can I'm ready to roll. Can you actually do anything in it yet, or do you have to wait until... Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until Friday. So, at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, so it does officially start on Friday? Yep. That's cool. Hopefully I didn't waste 60 bucks on this, or, yeah, $60 on this game. If I did, then, meh. Well, I mean, I'm sure it'll be more fun since you're actually playing with people that you know and you get along with. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if I ever did play an MMO, I mean, that's how I would want to do it. I would want to just play it with people I know. IRL. And those chests are weird, you have to open them from the back. Or I guess they're not really chests, they're like... They're, they're like, like boxes or something, it's with, weird. With a shield in front of them. Yeah. Uh, Just Drop says he's not buying AC3 for that reason. AC3? I, guess, I would assume that's Assassin's Creed 3? Oh. Yeah, maybe. And Cost asks, do you consider marijuana a drug? I mean, it's a drug. Like alcohol is a drug or tobacco is a drug. I don't right. I don't consider marijuana a particularly harmful drug. I mean, I'm I I support the legalization of drugs because um, when you prohibit something, all it does is create a black market for it and increase crime. So, 
No. I am an ardent supporter of decriminalization. Even and, you know, there's an utterly ridiculous amount of people in jail for... for having, you know, possession of marijuana as the only thing. Right. Which is utterly ridiculous. Or distributing marijuana. Or, yeah, or distributing marijuana, yeah. And this is coming from a person in me that's never done any of that shit, ever. Yeah, same here. And has, and has no reason to ever do anything like that. Even heroin? Yeah. I mean, if heroin was legal, you know, you could buy it, you know, in legitimate dispensaries. They could tax it. It wouldn't be so expensive that people have to, uh, have to resort to a life of crime in order to purchase it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's destructive, but, you know, so is alcohol to an alcoholic. Yep. Welcome to the chat room, Serious Cocker Demon. Uh, CPC Gamer asks, uh, how would that even work? If you legalize marijuana, wouldn't all the people in the prison or possession be retroactively innocent and demand recompense? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. And that might that, be... That is, a, that is a good question. Might be one of the things that's, uh, that's holding back decriminalization as a whole. Because I'm sure the majority of people in this country would support legalization of marijuana by now. I know Bill Moore brings that up a lot. <laughs> yeah. You can't be retro. Uh, Sia Chan says you can't be rec retroactively criminalized for one thing. Secondly, well, most proven people proven innocent don't get recompense anyway. Right. Well, I mean, he's not talking about retroactively putting people in jail. He's talking about retroactively releasing people from jail. Or not retroactively, but uh, releasing people from jail for crimes they committed that are now legal. I don't know. I mean, how is that any different than someone that's on death row and then that one... Uh, well, what's the name of that company that, that specifically does uh, cases where people are, are on death row for something that they didn't do? And they, you know, fund everything to try and prove them innocent? Uh, well, I mean, the ACLU does some of that kind of stuff, I think. Nah, these guys specifically just do that. Oh, really? I don't know. Yeah, I wish I could remember the name of it, because Raph's friend Ben, that's what he thats what he used to do, was, was work with them. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's like a a non-profit organization or a charity or something. It's not really a company. Right, yeah. Right? It's, it's a non-profit organization. Yeah. Uh, Koss says heroin and alcohol are in, no, are in no way similar. Completely different degrees of damage to your health. I think legalizing heroin is kind of silly. Well, I mean, it's, it's destructive, but I don't think it, people... I think people should be allowed to do whatever they want to their bodies, whether it's, you know, good or bad. I mean, I don't think that's the kind of thing that should really be legislated. Uh, Dominator Dom says, hey all. Oh, welcome. I think that's Dominator Dom. Oh, Dom Dom. Damn whatever. it, Mike, you made me look at the chat room and I lost my ball. <laughs> uh, Finland did retroactively uh, Crawley says Finland did retroactively criminalize once it was in order to handle war crime trials of their own people for World War II that is wait uh, okay what did they retroactively criminalize uh, something about war crimes against their own people committed by their own people right but what did they I don't understand what the actual crime is. Yeah, I don't know. It was war crimes. That's all he said. Oh. Well, I demand a full 500-word essay on my desk by <laughs> Monday. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can use my... Nope. can't even use the fireball on these things with the shields. Ah, damn it. Oh well, now we get to see what happens when you fail. Oh, we actually get continues. 
Welcome to the chat room, oh. Evil Zop. Thanks for making it. Uh, Dominator Dom says, decided to log in to comment on the crime thing. I think even if something is legalized, the fact is, you broke the law. Uh, Crowley 9 says, the peace terms of the Soviet Union included putting Finland's war leaders on trial for war crimes. The alternative was that's for Soviet Union to handle that. Oh, I see what he's saying. So basically it was after the war, World War II, Soviet Union required Finland to charge their own people for war crimes for what happened during World War II. Basically, you know, retroactively criminalizing them for something that they did that originally wasn't considered a crime. Oh. Okay. Well, that was that is your uh, your daily history lesson here in my video game stream. Glad, yep. glad we could get that out get that out of the way. Welcome to the chat room, McGack. CPC Gamer says, "Why aren't more video games as educational? Like you remember Typing of the Dead? It's like that. Typing of the Dead. Yeah, I never played that one. Me neither. Although, from what I understand, it's a uh, it's not a bad way to practice your typing. <laughs> Shooting some zombies." Uh, Gartholomew is in the chat. I don't know if you said hi to him or not. No, I didn't. Welcome, Gartholomew. He says hello. Thanks for making it. Uh, Dom, uh, Dominator Dom says that Typing the Dead is bait. He asked if it was basically a clone of House of the Dead 2. I'm pretty sure it is. Well, I mean, it's like a, a House of the Dead game, only instead of using a, li a light gun to shoot zombies, you use a keyboard to, uh... Type whatever is imprinted on the zombie to shoot them. Or something like that. <coughs> uh, Gartholomew asks how long the shred... the, the shred... Shred, the stream has been up. Uh, about half an hour. Yep, starts at 7, every Tuesday and Thursday. Except for Tuesday, when it was at 9. Right. Well, if, if there's a change in plans, I will notify the public on my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at DukeLP for streaming and video-related updates. Did you post about that? Because I didn't see it on Twitter. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Yeah, I, I posted that the stream was starting at 9 instead of 7. Well, I posted, huh. the, I posted the previous day. Uh, I, I didn't post anything that day until the stream actually started. I don't know. <sighs> I wonder if the three continues you get in this game are like the only continues you get or if they reset after I beat this world or whatever. <sighs> Turn up. Weird it Thursday here. Well yeah, it's, it's Thursday here too. That's what that's what I was saying. Dominator Dom says it's Friday there. Where are you, Dominator Dom? You must be in England somewhere, or further away. No, England is only five hours ahead of us. You must be in, like, oh. New Zealand or something. He says Portugal. Oh. Cool. Same time zone as, U as the UK. See, they're five hours ahead, so it's like 12.30. That's technically the next day. Oh, well, yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah, see, it's all three. Ugh, so I'm sitting here watching, like, half watching. Uh, you know, the NFL draft is about to happen, so I'm, like, half paying attention to it, barely. Right. And there's this horrible fucking commercial for Verizon, I think. Yes, because it's a droid razor. And it's like this mom and this and this little girl, or not little girl, teenager, walks into the place to like talk about a phone or something, and they're like whining at each other, like fake crying. Uh huh. Oh, it is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. They use subtitles so that so that the horrible actors can just mumble whatever they're supposed to be saying and act like they're crying. It's fucking terrible. Wow. 
That sounds pretty bad. It's pretty bad. That's uh, why I never actually watch TV on TV. Yeah, well, you know, I don't either, normally. Uh, Cost asks, have you ever actually watched Twilight? Uh, no. I don't really see a need to do that. Yeah. <sighs> I think we got pretty close to that with the horrible fucking... Ugh. God. That movie was so bad. Uh, I mean, it was... Hunger Games was bad. I don't really think it was on the same level as Twilight. Well, yeah, probably not. I mean, I thought the movie started out pretty strong. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It started out pretty strong like until the, it the first decided time. to be all girly. Well, I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily the problem. I mean, you can have, you know, romantic subplots in a movie without, you know, ruining it. It was just not very... It was not handled very well. Well, no. Uh... Crawley says one of the worst commercials he's ever seen is the... Fuck! I'm sorry. Uh, Life is Short, Play More, one from Xbox. I don't think I've seen that one. I truthfully don't watch much TV. I mean, I do, but not actually on TV. The worst commercial I've ever seen is one that I didn't actually see on TV. Somebody linked me to the YouTube video. And it's a commercial for Huggies or Pampers or one of those disposable diaper companies. And you, you know the song, Whoop, There It Is? Oh, God. Well, they use, that, they use that song, but they change, the, <laughs> they change the, the lyrics to Poop, There It Is. <laughs> and you, you had these CG animated babies, and it's like a competition where they come out on stage. Really poorly animated. It looks like a... Uh, uh-huh. Uh-oh. It looked like... I don't know what it looked like. It, it, remember the dancing baby from, like, 1996? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looked kind of like that. Oh, that's so bad. So the commercial <laughs> was them coming out, and they basically shit in their diapers. Like, their diapers, <laughs> like... They go boom, but their diapers, like, go... They blow up like a balloon, and, like... Oh, and God. O- and other babies in the crowd were, like, holding up cars with numbers on them, like, 8.5 <laughs> or 9 or whatever. <laughs> And all the while, in the background, poop, there it is. <laughs> poop, there it is. Oh my god, that is awful. It is the... I, I, I gotta find that. Yeah, now. look it up on YouTube. Just look up, <laughs> just look up poop, there it is, and you'll probably find it. Well, actually, don't look it up on YouTube, because it, it really, oh, really... I mean, I was depressed after that. <laughs> it's only like 30 seconds long, too. Well, yeah, I mean, most commercials are. Are you looking up, like, right this second? Yeah. Oh. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, you, you shouldn't. It's bad. Just search for poop, there it is, commercial, and you'll find it. It's, it's sadly, it's very easy to find. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently there was a commercial for Sony where a baby was shot out of a nursery and landed in the grave. Wait, landed where? In a grave. Well, that commercial apparently sounds was, pretty cool. Apparently it was banned later. Was it a real baby? I have no idea. Now everyone watching your stream is gonna go watch that fucking terrible ass commercial. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't mean watch it now, people. I need your full. Oh no, it's for the 360, not not Sony. Oh, okay. I mean, if you're going to have a baby in a commercial, that's probably the best role the baby can be in. <laughs> it's just dying. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I would look up that commercial, though, is to find out what that has to do with video games. Uh, Serious Cocko Demon asks, what do you two think of Brutal Doom? I don't know what that is. Sounds like a music genre. From, like, <laughs> from, from Finland or Norway or something. It kind of does. Brutal Doom Metal. <laughs> I mean, I, I imagine... 
probably a Doom mod that I haven't heard of. Yeah, that's what I would assume. I've never heard of it before. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like a funny. Uh, he says that he says that it is a, a Doom mod. It sounds like a, a funny <laughs> style of music to create. Yeah. Rule Doom. Doom with guns disabled. I've seen people like I've seen speedruns of Doom where they basically just walk Don't through punching everything. That would be crazy. This is much, much bloodier than Doom itself. Can't perform fatalities on monsters. Wow. Okay. Wow. Sign me up. <laughs> Portal Doom. Uh, wow, I'm not even going to pr attempt to pronounce this dude's name. N-H-O-U-Z-X-M. Yeah. Says that Brutal Doom is pretty much Doom with a thousand times more gore and better weapons. While the weapons are better, the pistol is now an assault rifle. Nice. I really wish it would just tell me what the damn crown does, so I don't have to wait, All right, wait in anticipation. Let me look up what the damn crown does. No, don't do that. No, I'm going to. Well, don't tell me. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, here we go. Okay, don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy the crown? Apparently it gives you the bad ending. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, fuck. Now I'm... Ugh. Now I have outside knowledge. How is that outside knowledge? How would you... You wouldn't ever get fucking 10,000 gold to buy it anyway. I might. Man, even if I didn't, I'd fucking grind for it. That is kind of a cheap move, though. Yeah. Made this insanely expensive item that causes you, that requires you to grind for hours to build up enough money, and then it doesn't do anything. A ball throwing game has different endings. Yeah, this game's uh, there's a lot to it. An, this game with an RPG. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very serious role playing game with stories and consequences. And Decisions you can make that affect the outcome. Damn Jade it! Cocoon. What was that? That was a uh, RPG for the PS2 or something, right? Uh, Jade. I think so. Wait, wasn't that like a collect them all type game or some shit? I think it was like a Pokemon clone. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it was. Speaking of which. One of those games that I pirated. <laughs> actually, I think you actually bought that game and you played it like once. Oh, that's right. I bought it for like five bucks or something. Yeah, it was like in a used game bin. And... I didn't know the balls could hit each other in this game. Well, I mean, up until this point, I really haven't had more than one ball at a time, so it hasn't really been yeah. an issue. It sucks. That's the only bad thing about the triple ball. Damn, lots of bonus stages. Dub says he just beat Jade Cocoon recently. Would you recommend it? Is it he a... Said he uh, had to grind for hours to get the best weapon in the game. And all it does is insta-kill an enemy. What game are you talking about, CPC Gamer? Yeah, I don't know. Silent Hill 4. Oh, okay. That is one series I have never played any game in. Me neither. I'm not really a, uh, a fan of the whole survival horror thing. Yeah, me neither. Except for Devil Premonition. <laughs> well, that's hardly a survival horror game. Uh, that's basically what it is. Yeah, but you don't like it because of that. Oh, no. Why 
One of these days I'm actually gonna finish watching their endurance run of that. That shit was funny as hell. It's pretty entertaining. And it's not as long as the other two endurance runs. Yeah. Ah, damn it! <sighs> I always die right before I'm about to use my magic to slow the ball down. <laughs> like, I, I'm... Okay, this thing is going way too fast. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Use the fairy thing to slow it down? Yeah. And then... Oops, I died. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cost says that it's interesting that Western world, most of the people buy games, whereas in the East, 95% of people just download stuff. Uh, well, I mean, that's definitely true in China. Oh, yeah. I don't know about the rest of the East. Whoa, this is called crossbones. Things are getting pretty serious. And Justrop says he attributes that to the fact that gamers either the games are either not being released there or have retarded delays. Well, uh, yeah, you know that's part of it. Did you know that for Windows 8, Microsoft is releasing uh, a version specifically for the Chinese market? Oh, really? Yeah, it's like Windows 8 China Edition or something. <laughs> I wonder what their their plan is for that. Well, I mean, supposedly it's just going to be stupid cheap. Uh, so that they'll, they can actually try and sell it there instead of just them ever, everybody just pirating the damn thing. Yeah, I mean, they've done that with previous versions of Windows. They released them in China for like $10 or something to try to get people to actually buy it instead of pirating it. Yeah. But th I think this is the first time they've had like a China-specific edition. That cost says that no, it's just a mentality. Uh, you can, when you... Why would you pay for something when you can just download it in like 15 minutes for free from torrents? Well, I mean, I used to be... I mean, that used to be my mentality. I used to pirate pretty much every game I played on the PC. But uh, two things have turned that around. Uh, one is that I actually have the money to buy games now. And two is that Steam has just made things super e easy to buy. Well, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's reached the point where buying a game on Steam is way easier than trying to pirate it because you have all these, you know, patches that you have to try to apply and cracks and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that what the uh, what the movie, I mean, music has already, you know, pretty much done the same thing with iTunes. And uh, yeah. what the movie industry needs to do is make it as easy to buy movies as it is to buy games on Steam or to buy music on iTunes when instead, they're just adding more and more DRM, you know, making it more difficult for the actual legitimate consumers, and, you know, basically incentivizing piracy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, MacGak2 says he watched The Avengers today, it was really awesome, but 3D is a piece of shit. Of course it is, all 3D is a piece of shit. Do you want to see The Avengers? Yeah, I do. We should go. We should. It doesn't actually come out here until like May though, does it? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really looked. I've what? been kind of zoning out on that shit lately. Wait, where does that dude live where the Avengers is already out in theaters? I don't know. Where does Gak Mac 2 live? I don't know. Or Mick, Mick Gak, my bad. That's what I was asking. <laughs> Mac Gak. <laughs> well, it says, coming soon for the Avengers. Comes out... May 4th. Uh, he lives in Northern Ireland. Wow. That's interesting. <sighs> Damn it. I don't like uh, it when I put a DVD in and you have to watch half an hour of Adverse and don't steal DVDs trailers. Yeah, that's, I, re that's really a pain in the ass. And really, the, I, the whole reason I haven't bothered buying a Blu-ray player yet because from what I understand, that stuff is even worse on Blu-ray than it is on DVDs. Yeah, that's, that's what I've heard. They have, like, unskippable trailers and shit. Unskippable... Yeah. Un unskippable <laughs> commercials and anti-piracy PSAs. I just fucking hate all that shit. That's just terrible. Uh, let's see. 
Thumbnailer Dom says Steam sucks, but I love it. Why does Steam suck? I don't know. I don't he didn't know. explain himself. Maybe it sucks because it makes him spend more money than he should. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably. That seems to be a that seems to be a common problem with people with Steam. <laughs> I mean, I know that when they have their sales, there are a ton of games that I buy that I haven't even played yet, which I bought because yeah. hey, this is only two dollars. I'd be stupid not to buy this. But then I buy like twenty games, and it tends to add up. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to go through and just clear off every game in my Steam library. Yeah! I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Damn, Mike left. Or Morris left. Mike Morris left before the exciting time. Oh, shit. It really reminds me of the Castlevania boss. It looks like uh, like that ver that game's interpretation of the Grim Grim Reaper. Well, so far, it doesn't seem too intimidating. Ah, oh, he reflected my ball back at me. That's bullshit. At least I don't have any minion enemies to deal with. I wonder how many levels there are after this. Well, that's the third piece of the amulet. You wouldn't download a car. Actually, if it was possible, it would be the first thing I downloaded. Yeah, I agree. I could use a car. And downloading it is pretty much the only way I'd ever be able to afford one. Wonder what happens if you miss the amulet? Wow. That's a, uh, that's an interesting, that would be an interesting experiment. Netherworld? Holy shit. Have I played a Bobo's Big Adventure yet? No, but I've heard of it. It's one of those, like, uh, Kind of like that Super Mario Flash game, where they, they like bring in enemies from uh, from different games and stuff, or not enemies. They bring in characters from different games. I kind of want to see the bad ending too. I'll tell you what. After I beat this game, I will grind for enough gold. Not not on stream, but I'll grind for enough gold to uh, to buy the crown, and we'll see what the bad ending actually is. I saw the initial shots of this game on your channel. I thought it was a legitimate Sega CD, CD game. It's got a little spot on. Yeah, it's really good. They put stuff on torrents that is already cracked. You don't need to search for cracks or anything. I found Binding of Isaac like that. Well, I really hope you actually buy Binding of Isaac because the game's only five dollars. It's actually worth it. I mean, I don't always. I mean, I understand pirating, like, a $60 game, but, I mean, I don't, I'm not chastising you or anything, but, you know, give the dude your money. He, he definitely earned it with that game. Wrath of the Lamb is coming out in late May, too. Yeah, that's, uh, it's gonna be a day one purchase for me. Alright, well, I just got this tavern, so let's see what this does. I think this is the tavern. Hello. Everywhere else in Gerudo, people turn into ghosts and vanished. Isn't that creepy? Can I play the organ? Or the piano? Nope. Yeah, the town segments of this game are pretty bare bones. I wish there was more stuff you can actually explore. Wish I could, I could get to that chest. Welcome, Oxbow. You actually got me back into playing the Binding of, I uh, Binding of Isaac, really having fun with it again, too. Yeah, that game's awesome. My favorite game of 
last year, which I've mentioned like 20 times now. Owen, the great hero of Gerudo, was born and raised in our town. Okay, I will rebuild the statue for you. Oh, cool, this dude's building me a rampart too. Duke, what is your all-time favorite game? I think I mentioned this in the last stream, it's Yoshi's Island. Well, not the last stream, but the one before that. Welcome to the chat room, Paradox Zero. Glad you can make it. Uh, sure, I'll give you some money. And he gave me a key. Sweet. I'm pretty close to rebuilding this whole town. Welcome to the chat room, Monothudo. For those of you just joining us. Oh, he's back. Yep, I'm back. What's up? Not Dad needed something. Man, you missed death. Death? I, I saw it. Uh, I saw it right when I walked out. Ooh, extra life. Hey, I rebuilt the whole town. Nice to you, this town uh, will flourish again once evil is vanquished. By the way, we found this amulet piece in the debris. We got the fire amulet piece. Wow. So I already have the whole, the whole amulet. But I can't use it yet. Maybe there's something else I have to unlock before I can actually use the amulet. I thought you liked Super Mario Bros. 3 better than Yoshi's Island. You said as much in your LP of it. Yeah, I mean, my opinion kind of goes back and forth. I mean, those two are definitely, like, in the top three games. Well, Ock Thunder joined the chat room briefly, but he left. Sorry the stream wasn't to your liking, Ock Thunder. Alright, uh... Let's see what the... Oh, there's no plaque on the statue or anything. Well, I have a shitload of money left even after I rebuild everything. I guess I could go buy some some items. Oxbow says he's still here. Oh, I said uh, Ox Thunder, not Oxbow. Ah, uh, I see. Or OC Thunder. Just drops says spinner on the hookers. Duke is kind of like a careful, politically correct guy, and Mike is like the opposite. Yeah, we're the original odd couple. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will refill my magic, and I will stock up on a few extra lives. And then I guess we will tackle the netherworld. One of these days, Duke. One of these days. What, Tao right in the kisser? I like steam. Um, yeah, you got it. Go ahead. Oh, I like steam and all, but I hate having to put in an extra special code just for not logging in like every single day. I I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know either. But then again, I don't understand why you wouldn't log into Steam every day. I mean, I just have it start up when Windows starts. Yeah. Maybe if you don't do that, it asks for your password or something. Password, I guess. Yeah, probably. Oh, no, I don't want to go back to the main menu. Uh, oh, I guess that's it. This looks like the last area of the game. Huh. Oh, we were just talking about it on the website. Oh, yeah. I, I don't really go to the website. Yeah. Me neither. I wonder what that little boomerang symbol in the middle of the room means. I don't know, did, did you ever figure out what the other symbols were? When, like, there's one on like the second world or whatever? And... No, I haven't really been back there yet. I don't know. The boomerang symbol just opened the door, though. It's, oh. just, it's just this world's version of the button. Uh, maybe it's something where you have to have the uh, that particular piece of the, uh, the amulet or whatever to open. Yeah, I mean, that's what I, uh, that's kind of what I figured it was, but I don't know for sure. Wow, these skeleton guys with the sword suck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, figure out a more clever way to kill them. I was hoping I could use my, uh, my fireball thingy on them and see if that helps. Well, I could just use a fireball, but... 
Oh, he can block the fireball too. What's up, huh? Just gotta hit him from the back. That's what she said. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Cool music in this place. It's kinda creepy sounding. And these eyes and mouths all around the perimeter of the room are like disturbing me. Dust Drop says, should Ebony Online be sued for false advertisement? I saw no breasts after creating an account. You know, I haven't seen an ad for Ebony in forever. I'm not, I, I didn't even know that game was still around. Did you ever see the ads for that game, Mike? No, I don't think I did. It's I have. A, it's one of those, like, uh, it's like a crappy Flash Civilization clone or something. Uh, but all of the ads are like a picture of a woman in skimpy clothing, and they say like "Come play, my lord" and shit like that. Oh, I see. Huh. Uh, Cost asks if you ever played real-time strategy games. Uh, I played Warcraft 2 way, way many years ago, and I never actually beat it. I don't, I don't really care for them. Yeah. Closest I get to enjoying myself with real time strategy games is like Total War. Those are kind of fun. Is that the one that you were trying to get that demo working? And yeah. Did, I'm just going to end up reinstalling reinstall fucking Windows. So you haven't done it yet? No. Do you just do it? Yeah. It will fix like all of your problems. I probably will after this weekend. I just don't want to have to screw with worrying about getting the damn beta client again. I mean, not that I can just put it on my portable hard drive or anything, but... Yeah, just do that. I don't know, I just don't want to deal with it. I hate reinstalling Windows. It's such a pain in the ass. Eh, uh, I mean, it used to be back in like the days of Windows 98 and stuff. But these days, yeah. there's really not that much to it. Oh, crap. I don't know. I have to, uh, I have to match the color of those three blocks to get to that chest up there. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I bet there's something good in it, too. Well, yeah. Since it's so difficult to get to. Well, let's, uh, let's use this. See if, uh, oops. Man, that's gonna be hard to do. Oxbow says that he wanted to enjoy Rome Total War, but he couldn't get the hang of unit control. Uh, instead of playing Rome Total War, play Shogun Total War. Shogun 2 Total War, the newest one that they came out with. It's not as bad. Because I suck at that shit, too. Yeah, that's the reason I don't like real-time strategy games. There's just way too much stuff to keep track of what's going on. I don't like the whole micromanaging aspect. Yeah. You, well, that's the good thing. Well, the good thing about Shogun 2 is it gets rid of it gets rid of all the gray areas of stuff like that, where instead of it just being it, where it's basically just this enemy is good against this stuff against these enemies, this enemy is good against this enemy, and so on. And, you know, archers pretty much rule everything. Hey! You finally broke the thing, even though you probably already did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yes I did. That just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean it gets rid of a, a lot of the gray areas it basically simplifies the whole rock, paper, scissors-ness of the real-time strategy genre Have you seen those screenshots for that uh, that MechWarrior turn-based strategy game that's coming out? No I don't know, I don't think it's like an official Mech Warrior game, it's like a fan game or something. But it's like, uh, it's this hex-based, turn-based strategy game. Cool. It looks really cool. That's pretty awesome. See, that's what I like. I like the turn-based strategy games. Yeah. My only problem with that is really the only good, well, that I've played so far, turn-based strategy game well, for the PC, is, you know, the, uh, 
civilization games, but if those are just, I don't know, so crazy. Yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, the, the civilization games are kind of like real-time strategy games that aren't actually real-time. Like, they still have, they're as cerebral as real-time strategy games, let me put it that way. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, CPC Gamer says, didn't they already do that with Mech Commander? I think he's talking about the, uh, real-time strategization of it. Um, uh, well, I think so. Well, yeah. this game is, is turn-based, not real-time. Or that's what I mean, the turn-based strategy game thing. I don't know, I, I never really heard of Mech Commander. Damn. Whoa. What did you get that lets you grab your shit? Is that one of the power-ups you bought? Yeah, it's the magnet. Oh, okay. Cool. That's, that's cool stuff. Uh, costs... Cost asks, have I ever played Heroes of Might and Magic? No, I have not. Uh, I've heard that's pretty good. It's one of those uh, real-time strategy games, I think. Or it might be turn-based, I don't remember which. And Chrono says he's only into Final Fantasy Tactics. I agree. Final Fantasy Tactics is amazing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I was, I was never able to get into Final Fantasy Tactics just because of all the grinding. Well, yeah. I mean, I much prefer, like, a, uh... Uh, like a Shining Force or something like that. Yeah, but, well, you know. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but he says it's, it's the, the king of turn-based strategy games. Or at least the third one is. Uh, Garth says he can't play any of those games. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same way. I can sometimes. Like, I'll get a kick where I'll play him for, like, two days, and I'll play him for, like, eight or ten hours a day or something like that, and then I'll just never touch it again. Well, I mean, you're burning yourself out, man. I don't know. I mean, that's just that's how I want to play it, though. <laughs> Uh, Dom, uh, uh, Dom, Inter Dom asks if Final Fantasy Tactics Advance compares to the other Final Fantasy Tactics. No, it is a horrible, horrible bastardization of it. Of it. I didn't know you actually played that one. Uh, briefly. Man, all that was in that stupid chest was a freaking key. Spent all that time for nothing. That's uh, funny. Ah, dang it. And Oxbow says Final Fantasy Tactics for the PlayStation 1 is the best. I agree. It is the only game the other one doesn't even exist. <laughs> well, the remake of Final Fantasy Tactics for the PSP was supposed to be pretty good. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot about that. Supposedly they did, like, a new translation of it or something. Yeah. Which was another problem I had with Tactics, is that the story makes absolutely no sense. Like, less sense than a normal Final Fantasy game. Man. Man, I have super balls. I have three balls, they're totally powered up, and I have the magnet. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. And the cost says he remembers my parent his parents first bought him a PC, it was the only game he had. So he played Heroes of Might and Magic 3 for like a whole year. Wow. Yeah, I mean, back in back when we were kids and we had much smaller access to video games, we were a lot more perseverant. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I remember, I freaking played the shit out of uh, uh, Fantasy Star Three, and that game's fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I had a Genesis, and it was the only RPG I had for it. So, yeah. well, what else was I going to do? Yeah, that game was bad, but. It was still fun. I mean, it was fun at the time because I didn't know any better. Well, yeah. I mean, looking back, I kind of wish I had a Super Nintendo and I could have played the the good Final Fantasy games when they actually came out. 
Oh yeah, dude. I think that's the reason why I like Final Fantasy 2 slash 4 so much. Just because I actually I actually played it on a Super Nintendo. Yeah. And it was it was amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Just Drop asks if we if either one of us have ever read the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. I read the first one and I really liked it. I haven't read any of the others yet, though. Yeah, but, that's uh, one of those series that I've really been meaning to read. Dude, you totally need to read The Stand too. Uh, that book is so fucking long. Yeah, but it's so worth it. <laughs> Oh wow, I didn't know he was still writing that series. Just Drop says he just released uh, a new one two days ago. Really? For that series. Yeah, apparently. I thought the last one came out like a couple years ago. You got me, man. I don't keep track of I don't keep track of books. Well, I wonder if this is the last one or if the series is still going to continue after this. I don't know. Uh, let's see. A lot of people are saying George R. R. Martin is probably going to die before he can finish the Game of Thrones series. Yeah, a lot of people are. A lot of people that really like that series of books are kind of mad that he's taking not, so long. Yeah, that he's he's basically not writing any for the next book at all. He hasn't wrote anything because he's been working on the television series instead. Well, I don't understand what he, what he has to do to the TV series. I mean, it's already written, right? Right, but he's actually he's they're actually going away from what the second book is. Really? Yeah, kinda. I heard that they were sticking to it like pretty close. Yes, but they're like slowly going off. Like they, he's changed uh, like uh, the timeline of, of some things happening and stuff like that. Huh. It's 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 starting to to drift away from. Uh... See you later, Dominator Don. Let's see. Uh, try being a George R. R. Martin fan, yeah. I'm kind of glad that I never actually tried getting into those books now. Yeah. Seeing the way it's probably going to end up. I mean, that's what happened with the Wheel of Time series. I mean, fans of that series yeah. were mad because... Well, they weren't mad, but they were disappointed because the dude died before he, he could finish the series. Yeah, that's why I really don't want to read any more of that series, because there's no true ending to it. Yeah. There's like fucking 15 books though. <laughs> and Josh Drop says, how dare people die? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they should really, you know, take their fans into consideration before they do something so selfish. <laughs> well... The great thing uh, about it, having the magnet is that the balls won't speed up at all. Yeah, dude. That's good stuff. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Dom left. Uh, Just Drop says the stand is fucking awesome. The lo Long Walk is also his favorite. Yeah, the Long Walk is amazing. If you yeah. want to read a good Stephen King book, but you don't want to put in as much time as it would take to read the stand, you should read the Long Walk. Yeah. Joss Whedon didn't die and Firefly was never properly ended. Yeah, but isn't he, like, doing a comic series of Firefly now? That's what I understand. Like, he's continuing the story that he couldn't finish in the TV show. Yeah. Or maybe that's Buffy I'm thinking of. Well, either way, I would be I would be shocked if, uh, if Firefly didn't, uh, didn't continue in some form. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be something. But then again, wasn't Serenity supposed to be the thing that really wrapped it up? Yeah, supposedly. I don't know. I thought it was fine. Yeah, but did, did Serenity, like, actually wrap up the story? Yeah. I mean, it did, like, you know, any other thing where it left an opening to where if they wanted to do something else, they could. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Um... Uh... Uh, 
Uh, let's see. I'll refill my magic, why not? Well, I didn't know the life expectancy was actually up to 70 now. Yeah, uh, I mean, that makes sense. Well, you know, modern medicine and all that. Yeah. Even with the supposed obesity problem. Well, you know, they can keep obese people alive a long time with, uh, with the gastric bypass surgery and all that. Yeah, that's true. Boy, the three shot really isn't very good for this level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> damn it. Yeah. There we go. Stay in there, damn yeah. it. Paradox Zero says, I know we're all fat and overweight and need to eat only healthy foods. Yeah. But damn it, fatty food is so tasty. Not just fatty food, but sweet foods give you diabetes, salty foods give you high blood pressure. Yeah. Pretty much anything that tastes good is going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> I'm Will from Brimley and I got diabetes. <laughs> uh. That's like the only guy from something from essays forums that I remember the name of because it's so fucking funny. Oh, diabetes. Diabetes. He was a complete asshole too. Was he? Yeah, I remember that. He was a complete asshole. I I don't know if that's accurate. I never had a problem with him. Yeah. I thought his uh, Battletoads videos were really funny. Really? Yeah. Cost says there's a lot of stuff that is tasty and not very bad for you. Like what? I'm pretty sure if such a food existed, it would solve the obesity problem. Because <laughs> we could just be like, hey, everyone, eat this. It tastes good and it's good for you. Yeah, see, that just doesn't exist. Well, I mean, I guess if you, like, if you learn how to, like, if you put a lot of time into learning how to cook things properly and how to best unlock the flavors, then, uh, then certain foods might be better than they would be otherwise. Our right. cost says chicken breast cooked in the oven and baked instead of fried or, or anything like that with some vegetarian dishes and seafood in general. See, none of that sounds good. And I like chicken. Chicken's, chicken's fine. I mean, it really comes down to the, uh, the seasonings in that case. I mean, I'm sure if you're like an expert chef who knows exactly what seasonings to use in all the right situations, then, uh, then something like that would be, uh, would be more appealing. Yeah, but you know we don't know any of that stuff. Well, I mean, you know, I've been I've actually been trying to learn some of that stuff. It's just it's it's all so subjective. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe I'm too American. Yeah, I mean, you know, I do live in America and unfortunately eat a lot of really horrible things. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much, you know, complete American stereotypes, unfortunately. Yep. We're fat, we don't know anything about the outside world, we, uh... I don't know, what are some other American stereotypes that we fat? <laughs> well, you don't even, you can't even think of anymore. <laughs> I mean, those are really the big ones. People, yeah. people from outside America, what are some American stereotypes that you have? Let's see if we, if we mash them or not. Oh wait, we, well, I mean, obviously this is the whole thing of us thinking we're superior to everyone else. But we don't fit that. We're not that fucking stupid. Yeah. Just Drop says we love George Bush. Uh, yeah, that, we definitely don't fit that either. Yeah, I don't think I'm superior to everyone, just Mexicans. <laughs> uh, I, I apologize, the joke was hanging out there, I had to make it. <laughs> Evil Zop says we're all rednecks. No, definitely not. Yeah, just... Not 
Well, I mean, Mike uh -huh. is, but not me. Fuck you. <laughs> uh. But yeah. Apparently, we're really tolerant to lots of things. That's what cost says. Who, Americans or us specifically? Yeah. Americans is what he says. Justrov says, yeah, I have never banged my sister. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Oxbow asks, second cousin? No. Never. Yeah, I mean, despite being from West Virginia, we, uh... We don't really fit that stereotype. <laughs> uh, Justrov says, I was drunk, and then sad face. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, then Oxbow says we must be Yankees. Why is that? <laughs> because we we don't bang our sisters and or nor second cousins. Well, I mean, doesn't a Yankee just mean any American? Uh, it depends. I thought that was how British people usually use that terminology. Uh, let's see. Koss says the reason why he says that uh, Americans are really tolerant is because we're, we've started to tolerate gay people, homosexuals, and most people in the East don't like homosexuals in general. Is what uh, he says. Well, I mean, again, that really depends on what part of the U.S. you're in. I mean, if you're in a, uh, uh, if you're in South like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're in the South, basically, if you're in a major metropolitan area, like. None of the American stereotypes are true there, like the way they are in the South. I mean, in the, yeah. in the South, everyone's fat, everyone hates gay people, everyone bangs their sisters. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I really hope no one from the South is watching this. Obviously, I don't <laughs> literally mean everyone. Uh, <laughs> don't freak out. Just Drop says Philly has an area called the Gaberhood. Yeah, and uh, like San Francisco has uh, has the mm, Castro. You know. That's the big yeah. That's the big gay neighborhood there. Yeah. Welcome to the chat room. Uh, Crawley says that Americans only think there are two possible ways to go in politics. Well, Matt and I both don't fit in that. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, I'm you know, I'm a Democrat. I'm fairly liberal, but I don't agree with everything the Democrats agree with. Yeah, most definitely not. Uh, I mean, I would actually consider myself, you know, farther left than the most Democrats. Yeah. But, I mean, we do kind of have the, uh, I mean, the two-party mentality is really ingrained in our culture, though. Yeah, <clears throat> it's really unfortunate that that's the case. Because it's, I don't know, it just, it ruins the possibility for any true political thing to happen. Yeah, I mean, basically the attitude here is, you know, we have third parties, but it's pretty much assumed that if you, if you vote for any of them, you're just throwing your vote away. So, effectively, there are only two parties. Yeah. Uh, Crawley asks, now that Americans, to ha now that he has Americans to ask, what's so bad about New Jersey? Uh, I don't know, I've never been there, but I hear it's a terrible fucking place. Well, I mean, just watch the Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure that doesn't represent all of New Jersey, but that's enough to make me <laughs> never want to go there. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anytime, well, I mean, obviously it's all a stereotype, but anytime Jersey is ever mentioned in anything that... It's always that horrible, horrible stereotype. Just Drop says he lives close to Jersey. It's full of chemical plants. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of that here, too. Yeah, we do. We do have quite a bit of that here as well. Chemical plants, pollution factories. Yeah. Shit factories. Yeah, gotta manufacture that shit. Yeah. Uh, Paradox Zero says Jersey isn't so bad once you get around all the guidos, pollution, 
and incredibly high taxes, as well as people that can't drive. He says he lives in Jersey. Ah. Do you talk like the people on Jersey Shore? If you do, I'm sorry. Chemical plant zone is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I agree. That yeah. is an awesome area. Yeah, our state is basically the chemical plant zone. <laughs> Another question from Crawley9. Well, our part of if, the state. Yeah. If USA has a separation of church and state, why is gay marriage not legal everywhere? Yep. That's an excellent question. Well, the problem is that marriage from a religious standpoint and marriage from a legal standpoint are still two completely different things. I mean, yep. you, you could have a church where uh, where gay marriage is illegal in a state where gay marriage is illegal, and the church could recognize, you know, a gay marriage as being totally, you know, legitimate in the eyes of God, but legally, it still wouldn't be, uh, it still wouldn't be a legitimate, you know, yeah. partnership for like tax purposes and stuff. I mean, you can get married, you know people of opposite sex can get married and, you know, religion doesn't even come into it. I mean, they can just get married in a courthouse and, you know, it's a totally, you know, non-religious ceremony. Yeah. So really, the whole concept of marriage is kind of kind of screwed up here. Welcome to the chat room, Pokesmot420. Uh, three Jack Burton says some parts of the U.S. are dominated by rednecks. Yep. We kind of live there. Yeah, I mean, as far as West Virginia goes, we probably live in the best area to avoid rednecks. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we live in we live in, in Charleston, and which is pretty much as close to a melting pot as you get in West Virginia. Yeah, I mean, any of the college towns, you know, Morgantown for West Virginia State or Huntington for Marshall. Yeah. I, I'd say those two in Charleston are pretty much the big ones. But any of the more r rural parts of the state, there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of gay bashing and a lot of cousin Marianne <laughs> and a lot of black people disliking. Yeah. Man, I'm uh, well, I'm not completely out of magic, but I don't have enough to cast any of my good spells. Just Drop says the definition of marriage is between man and woman according to documentation. I believe in the right for everyone to be miserable, though. I mean, really, more than anything, most people, most gay, most gay people just want, just want the tax breaks, man. <laughs> well, I mean... Well, and, you know, the, the official recognition that they're, you know, a couple. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of benefits that married couples get that uh, that you can't get if you're just, you know, in a domestic partnership or whatever. Like, yeah. I mean, it's pretty fucked up that a gay person, like, a gay dude couldn't visit his boyfriend in the hospital or something because right. he's, not, yeah. he's not legally considered family. Right, yeah. That's very true. And, you know, just a lot of little stuff like that. But, I mean, <laughs> also it's just, you know, they want legal... You know, the same legal status that everyone else has, which, you know... Yeah, I, don't I mean... Blame them. They're pretty much the, uh... The, uh, uh... The unsung... Or not unsung, but the... I don't know how to put it. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Eloquent as always, Mike. <laughs> Chrono says the one cool thing about America are conservative blacks from the South who hate immigrants. Yeah, that's always funny. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of things that I'm ashamed of my country for. Or, you know, the conservative people in general in the South that vote for Republicans even though most of the time, Republicans don't have their, you know, vested interests in mind at all. 
Yeah, a lot of poor voters tend to vote against their interest. Welcome to the chat room, Perk1566. I kind of feel like we're uh, we're walking on eggshells with all this political discussion. Yeah, we should probably change the subject to something more suited to play company. Well, I could talk about the NFL draft if you want. <laughs> uh, does anyone in the chat room care at all about the NFL draft? I'm sure not. Because and if they if they do, they're probably watching it as well. Just Drop says he does. Well, you guys enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Perk five six six says that's a football league, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, NFL. That's the uh, the National Foosball League. The National Football Lads. The <laughs> National Football Lads. Uh, let's see, Kermudgeon says, I think it's stupid how the government sends armies to other areas to basically make an example there. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to have the U.S. taken over or destroyed, but we must always, but must we always convert to war? Yeah. Unfortunately, part of that is the fact that our media is so focused on one certain thing happening that we never get we never get the story of the people that go there before war happens and attempt to do things like peacefully negotiate. I I'm not really sure if any of that actually happens. Well, that's the problem. I don't know if any of that happens because I don't see any of that stuff anywhere. So maybe it's not happening, or maybe it's just not news enough to where people are actually writing stories about it, or showing it on TV, or talking about it on various things, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think if the media did a better job of showing the consequences of war on the news, yeah. then more people in this country would be anti-war. Yeah. I mean, the problem is people here like, like to pretend that that's a completely separate world that doesn't really exist and doesn't really apply to them. So the only people who feel the consequences of, of war are people who you know, have relatives over there fighting. And uh, three Jack Burton says, come on now, we simply want their oil. Yeah, that seems to be the normal case. Uh, I would watch sports more if uh, if foosball was a national sport. That's probably nine. I agree. I would too. That'd be an awesome sport to watch. You know, uh, competitive like gaming is turning into a huge thing lately. Yeah. I mean, it, well, when you go to Twitch.tv and you see some of those StarCraft games that are going on, there are like fucking ten thousand people watching those games live. Yeah, dude. I'm like, holy especially shit. If especially if it's like StarCraft or some shit. They, they blow that shit up. Esports. Yes, Saiyachan. Esports. I mean, I wish they would do that with a game that I actually cared about. Yeah. But I guess I don't really care about that many games that are competitive. Yeah, me neither, really. Oh, shit. That was an instant kill. That sucks. League of Legends, yeah, that's the big thing now. That's the mod or whatever. Well, no, actually, it's, it used to be a mod, but now it's its own game. Well, League of Legends takes the uh, the Dota mod from Warcraft and it basically expands on that. I mean, that's a whole genre now. Yeah. They're called uh, MOBAs, which is a uh, massive multi-something battle arena. Multi object battle arena. I, I don't know. But there's League of Legends, there's Dota 2, there's uh, the other one that's coming out soon. Turn, in, turn into a bit, pretty big thing. Yeah. I don't know anything about how those games actually work. I've just heard people talking about them a lot. Shit. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's kind of like a... Uh, 
a tower defense thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like that. It, it's more like, kind of more like capture the flag, from what I understand. Huh. Paradox Zero says the media is an outlet for the government to brainwash the sheeple. Yeah. Okay, well now we're getting into, uh, into Dale, things. Dale yeah. Gribble territory. <laughs> uh, and Oxbow says, basically we ramped up our military to the point of bankruptcy. Yeah. And Koss says media is biased everywhere, and the West is biased toward the Western ideas, and the East is biased toward the East. From my experience, the best non-biased paper you can get are business papers like Financial Times. Yeah, but they're going to have a much more limited scope than than other media outlets. Yeah. Just Drop says he doesn't even watch the news. I don't either. Yeah, I pretty much get my news entirely from the internet at this point. Pretty much. Koss says, why? Why do we not watch the news? Because it's usually slanted horribly. Or it's just a crazy, you know, all they do is report on horrible things happening in the world. Yeah, like, I was at the laundromat the other day, and uh, they had the news on. And apparently, fucking mad cow disease is like this big deal again. Yeah, I heard some bullshit about that. It's fucking stupid. It's oh like, no, yeah, he actually was talking about the limited scope of uh, the paper. But anyway, it was—it was like what? Oh, uh, it's like every few years, the uh, the TV news outlets <laughs> have to come up with some fear monger thing. Yeah, it's like it was mad cow disease, and then it was bird flu, and then it was swine flu. And then now we cycle back around. Oh, it was SARS for a while. SARS, yeah, I remember and then, that. And, and then West Nile virus. Ugh. And now we cycle back around to Mad Cow disease again. Even though none of these things are like more deadly than, uh, than you know, few, I mean, fewer fewer people die from these things than like people who get struck by lightning every year. So, it's, right, it's always making a mountain out of a molehill. Yeah, they never mention the shit like. Uh... The people that have like a weird uh, reaction to the uh, to the the antivirus that they put out, and that caused like even more crazy shit to happen than the, to them. Like uh, there was this one story that I read where there was this cheerleader that had that got the that got the uh, the flu uh, thing that they put out for the swine flu, the vaccine for it. Uh huh. And. Uh, it like caused she had like some weird rare disease and it caused some weird reaction with that where she basically became completely paralyzed huh it was crazy well I mean I don't really know if that's the sort of thing that the media should focus on though well no but you know they just don't you know talk about that stuff at all well yeah but I mean if they focus on that then it's going to prevent people from getting the vaccine when really most people probably should. Yeah, that's true, too. It's just this one person happened to have this extremely rare reaction to it. Yeah. And I'm sure you had all the uh, the anti-vaccination people latching onto that, too. Oh, absolutely. It's like, see? Vaccines are bad. This is proof. Yeah. These people, yeah. Really, people really piss me off. For... Perk L566, or 1566, I guess, says vaccines are dangerous, but not vaccinating people is even more so. Absolutely. It's just the, and that's, that's the thing that kills me about America, is you still have these people that believe in this incredibly crazy bullshit of not vaccinating their kids. Yeah, it's all, so Jenny, they, it's all Jenny McCarthy's fault. Yeah. Oh, last level before the boss here. Wow. I don't know if this is the last boss of the game or not, but I'm not sure what else we could have after this. Since I have Just... all the I have all the amulet pieces. Although yeah. I have, I haven't been able to actually use my am amulet yet, so there must be something else I have to get. 
Well, I think you used it to open the door to the level. I, I don't know if that's what that actually meant or not. I don't know. Just drop once to spank Jenny McCarthy. Yeah, I would have. What is that, like 10 years ago? Now she's kind of in. Eh. Yeah, more like 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, 20 years ago would have been like 8. Not a whole lot I could have done then. <laughs> well, yeah. But... <laughs> Just Drop says, I'm 28, my choices are slimming. I hear you, man. Same here. Aww, you actually lost your ball. Yeah, it's because of this fucking skeleton. I can tell this is going to be the thing that kills this level for me. Yeah. Yeah, sorry the stream's been so politicized. It's all Mike's fault. It's not. He what did on, I do? You come on here and you get me all riled up. <laughs> riled up. So why does a red alert... Crawley says that the people behind Red Alert 3 deserve a spanking for turning the game into a joke. Why is it a joke? I thought the Red Alert games were always a joke. I, thought, I don't know. I thought that was kind of the point of them. Is that supposed to be Satan? I don't think it's Satan. I think it's, uh, you know, generic, horrible enemy number 654. Mm. Apparently, okay. this dude has some kind of a shield that I can't. Oh, I'm dead. <coughs> this dude has some kind of a shield that I can't penetrate with my normal ball. Huh. I don't know how to actually deal damage to him. Weird. I mean, he drained what little magic I have, so there's nothing I can use against him other than just go the wall. Ah, serious Kako Demon says, check to see if the amulet's available. Oh. Uh, nope. Nope. Mm. Darn. I bet you need the crown. Well, I mean, supposedly the crown is bad. You're not even hitting him. I mean, there has to be some way I can beat him, otherwise it wouldn't even take me to this level. It would say, you need some item before you can... before you can proceed. I mean, Try I killing the little, the little guys first, Just Drop says. Well, the little guys weren't even here when the level started, though. And the shield was still there. Mm. I'd probably just have to hit the shield X number of times before I can actually hit him. Eh, probably. He's wearing a crown, so yeah, that was my theory. Admittedly, not very good, Oxbow says. He is wearing a crown, I didn't realize that. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look like the, uh, the crown that was in the shop. Oh, shit! <sighs> I mean, maybe I have to kill the skeletons and get potions to increase my magic, and then I have to just hit them with fireballs or something. Yeah, maybe. Well, let's test and see if the fireball actually does anything to him. Yeah, I can hit him with those. So I guess that's what I have to do. Hmm, interesting. That kind of sucks. Especially since these little skeletons are difficult to kill. It's going to be a tough battle, guys. Hopefully I can finish this in the next 15 minutes so I don't have to split the video again. Yeah. Man, that curse is nasty. Cause it, oh man, it drains your magic. That sucks. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't have any magic the last couple times I got hit by it. But yeah, I mean, that's especially nasty against this boss. Since magic is the only way you can win. Yeah. Damn it! So what do you think? I think this is the last boss? I'd say it probably is. It certainly feels like the last boss. 
Dust Drop says he believes in you. Yeah, well, you guys believe in me in the Binding of Isaac video too, and that didn't help. <laughs> Man, did you watch that one? I, well, I I didn't get a chance to finish it. Man, it sucks. I I made it to the second level of the wound. And I actually yeah. had I actually had the fully upgraded Super Meat Boy, which is oh, the, wow. which is the first time I've gotten the fully upgraded one. Yeah. But what I didn't know about Super Meat Boy is that uh, he actually pushes bombs around. Oh. So what happened was I laid a bomb a bomb to get to a power up, and Meat Boy fucking pushed it into me, and I only had one heart left, so I died. Oh, that sucks. I was pretty disappointed. Damn it! The way this dude teleports around doesn't make this any easier either. Koss says we should play Chaos Engine on the Mega Drive. I think I have played it before. Never heard of it. Whoa! Are you hitting him with your ball now? No. Oh, it looks like you did. I think I hit him with the ball at the same time I hit him with uh, the fireball. Oh. Yeah, see, the ball's still bouncing off of him. Yeah, okay. Well, you'll see in a second when, <laughs> yeah. when the video catches up. Ugh. Ugh, shit. Man, the skeleton's fucking all the way at the top of the train. There's no way I'm going to be able to kill him until he moves. That kind of sucks dick. Keep getting nailed by the damn... trident thing, too. Yeah, I've gotten nailed a couple times. I think I can pull this off, though. I've almost got him. And don't forget that every time your thing, or the ball flashes, you get you get a shot from your, your weapon. Yeah, that's true. I was kind of forgetting about that aspect of it. Oh shit! Mm. I'm, I'm glad that they, uh, they actually gave me a boss that's a challenge. Yeah, all those other bosses were kind of pushovers. Yeah. <coughs> They're kind of a joke. Ooh. Just drops a second form would be a killer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I wish this dude dropped enemies that were a little easier to kill than the skeleton. Well, I mean, that's part of the challenge. Mm. Oh, crap. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Lion Orphanok. Oh, you killed him. I am the savior of the kingdom. Oh. Oh. He's a knight. He was a hero this whole time. Yep. Even though Owain was possessed by the Devil King, by the strength of his own will he was able to keep Tara from being cursed. In the end, the small town was the key to the... Salvation of Gerudo. However, victory wouldn't have been possible without Cyrus, a great wizard. Damn straight. Okay, hey, yep. You should get another achievement for killing him without the amulet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the amulet never did anything. There, there must be some new game plus or something where the amulet actually has some sort of effect. Tell you, man, it's just a key. But... 
but when you go into your uh, the escape menu, it has an option there that says use amulet. Do you think you're just supposed to use the key in that one level, or use the amulet in that one level, and it, uh, and it opens that door? I don't know. I'll have I to uh, I'll have to explore this uh, explore this game a little further. Yeah. Try it. Well, I, I don't remember what level that was on, though. It was on the second, but it was like I don't remember. That is the Mega Man 2 ending. Yeah. I, I totally didn't catch that. Well, let's see what happens now. Ooh, shit. Rankings. Wonder how high I am in the rankings. Huh. Uh. Oh, that's just World 1. How do I, uh. Hmm. Well, okay, let's see what happens when I try to resume the game at this point. See if there's some new game plus or something. No, everything's still unlocked. Hmm. The, the thing with the amulet was... The, that symbol was in the slime forest, wasn't it? Uh... Yes, it was in the forest. I'm pretty sure it was on the first level. Let's see if I can do anything with the amulet now. Nope. Well, okay, let's try that real quick. I have about 10 minutes before I have to cut the video. Was that it? Because there's a symbol in front of that door, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. But the amulet doesn't do anything on this level. But there's no other way to open that door. Huh. I don't know. It's quite a mystery. I don't think this is actually going to do anything. I'm just, uh... Just for complete... Oh! Was this here before? Maybe it's like a hidden boss or something. I don't know. Oh well, I don't really have time to uh, to explore this now. You've never been there before, though. Yeah. It certainly looked new. It is. It's a few levels up. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was like a different level of the slime force or something. Oh well, I guess that'll do it. Um, this has been Wizard. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Duke of the Bum from Wars Draconis. Yep. Thanks for uh, helping things get political. <laughs> I'm sure that was very entertaining for our uh, for our non-American viewers. And hey, uh, sparked some good conversation in the chat. It's all good. Yeah. And we'll probably do something Sunday, too. Well, no, you, you probably won't because you'll be playing Guild Wars, but... I might. I might anyway. I don't know. Uh, either way, I should be here. Probably. I'll about play, I mean, I'm going to play that shit all day Saturday and all day Sunday, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get tired of it sooner or later. Yeah. Alright, well, follow me on Twitter at Duke of the Bump, or Duke LP is for video updates. Follow Moore's and Moore's Draco on Twitter. Yep. See you guys later. Later, guys.